Welcome to the Hortonworks University online tutorial series known as Hadoop Essentials. This module covers H-Catalog. In this module, we will describe the H-Catalog architecture, its data storage, and its uses. We will also use the H-Catalog command line interface in a few examples. H-Catalog is a table and storage management layer for Hadoop that enables users with different data processing tools such as PIG, MapReduce, and Hive to more easily read and write data on the grid. H-Catalog's table abstraction presents users with a relational view of the data in the Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDHDFS, and ensures that users need not worry about where or in what format their data is stored, whether it's RC file format, text files, or sequence files. H-Catalog supports reading and writing files in any format for which a SIRD can be written, or more specifically, a serialization, deserialization library can be written. By default, H-Catalog supports RC file, CSV, JSON, and sequence file formats. To use a custom format, you must provide the input format, output format, and SIRD class implementations. SIRD is short for serializer, deserializer, a SIRD allows Hive to read in data from a table and write it back out to HDFS in any custom format. Anyone can write their own SIRD for their own data formats. For JSON files, Amazon has provided a JSON SIRD available at S3, Elastic MapReduce, Samples, Hive Ads, Libs, JSON SIRD.jar. Hive uses the SIRD interface for I.O. The interface handles both serialization and deserialization, and also is used for interpreting the results of serialization as individual fields for processing. H-Catalog in the Hadoop ecosystem provides an abstract layer for data storage. One accesses the data through H-Catalog rather than an underlying software. H-Catalog provides read and write interfaces for MapReduce, PIG, and Hive. Command line interfaces are also available for data definitions. H-Catalog takes Hive's Metastore and wraps additional layers around it to provide services. It comes with HCAT input format and HCAT output format for MapReduce users and HCAT loader and HCAT store for PIG users. HCAT presents a relational view of the data. Data is stored in tables, and these tables can be placed in databases. Tables can also be hash partitioned on one or more keys. That is, for a given value of a key, or set of keys, there will be one partition that contains all rows with that value, or set of values. For example, if a table is partitioned on date, and there are three days of data in the table, there will be three partitions in the table. New partitions can be added to a table, and partitions can be dropped from a table. Partition tables have no partitions at create time. Unpartitioned tables effectively have one default partition that must be created at table creation time. There is no guaranteed read consistency when a partition is dropped. Partitions contain records. Once a partition is created, records cannot be added to it, removed from it, or updated in it. Partitions are multidimensional and not hierarchical. Records are divided into columns, and columns have a name and a data type. H-Catalog supports the same data types as Hive. Let's talk a bit now about the H-Catalog command line interface. The H-Catalog command line interface has several useful options. For example, Note in the first bullet point, this indicates the H catalog that a table that needs to be created must have a group as my group. The second bullet point indicates the H catalog that the table that needs to be created must have permissions as read, write, execute, read, execute, and read, and execute. Note that the third bullet point command indicates the H catalog that MyScript.hCatalog is a file which contains DDL commands it needs to execute. And finally, in the fourth bullet point, 
The command indicates the H catalog to treat the following string as a DDL command and to execute it. Within an H catalog DDL, you can create, alter, and drop tables, show tables, show functions, and describe. It also supports a subset of Hive DDL. Any commands that are not supported throw an exception and return the message, operation not supported. HCatalog has a meta store that can be accessed through the command line interface. Using the HCatalog client, for example, we can execute a script file or execute a DDL. We can define a new schema in that a schema is defined as an H catalog table. Suppose that the script on the previous slide is saved in a file named create underscore table dot H catalog. We can execute that script by entering the command you see here. H catalog has a pig specific H cat store interface. It is used with pig scripts to write data to H catalog managed tables. It accepts a table to write to and optionally a specification of partition keys to create a new partition. HCAT store is implemented on top of HCAT output format. HCAT store is accessed via a pig store statement. Storing into a table partitioned on month, date, and hour would look similar to the command you see below. HCAT can provide applications or legacy technology stacks notifications that a new partition or a new set of partitions have been created or added. HCatalog is a table management and storage layer for Hadoop that frees users with different data processing tools from worrying about where or in what format their data is stored. H catalog supports several command line options and a subset of the Hive DDL commands. Let's take a look at a simple H catalog tutorial. From the Hive tutorial that accompanies the sandbox, we have several files of baseball statistics and we're going to bring them into Hive and do some simple computing with them. We're going to find the player with the highest runs for each year. This file has all the statistics from 1871 to 2011 and, and contains more than 90,000 rows. Once we have the highest runs, we will extend the script to translate a player ID field into the first and last names of the players. So step one, bring the file containing the baseball statistics into Hive. Then we're going to find the highest runs for each year. Again, that's from 1871 to 2011. Then we're going to extend our script to translate the player ID field into the first and last names of the players. The following is a form of a sequence diagram on exactly how we're going to accomplish this simple tutorial. First, we're going to create a table called temp batting to hold the data. Second, we're going to load the batting CSV data into the table temp batting. Then we're going to extract the data so we can work with it. This extraction creates a new table with three columns for player ID, year, and the number of runs. Then we're going to extract the desired data from temp batting and copy it into batting. Note that the first line of the query creates the table batting. The three regular extract underscore extract calls are used to extract the player ID, the year, and the run fields from the table temp batting. Thank you for attending this online tutorial. Please visit the other Hortonworks University Hadoop Essentials online tutorials.